School for me was all about socialising until about year 11. Yes, I could have worked harder, but a massive part about succeeding in our company is your people skills, so it's come in handy. I'm John and I work in location planning at CACI. Essentially, we make sure that buildings, so shops, offices and houses, are in the right place. A lot of our clients are planning on building new shopping centres or managing existing ones. You need to know that there are enough people in the area to use that shopping centre. You also need to know that the right shops are there to suit their needs. For example, if an area contains lots of people with higher incomes, we'll put in more at market shops. But it's a lot more complicated than this. We use demographic data and mathematical models to help us make these decisions. Once the shopping centres are open, we help the owners understand who is visiting and shopping there. There are apps on your phone that provide data on where you're travelling from, what shops you're visiting and how often you visit them. Our mathematical models take all these factors into consideration. I really enjoy my job. I love the fact that I get to use maths and data to make real world decisions. So when I visit a location, I know why the shops are there and I know that I've played a part in putting them there. One of the best things about my job is that I get to work with some great people. Most of us have a geography background, but we also have mathematicians, economists and computer scientists. Most of the work we do is in the UK, but we also work globally and I've been lucky enough to travel all over the world. I've done projects in places like Kazakhstan, India, LA and most countries in Europe. Not all of our clients are from maths backgrounds, so we can't use really complicated maths equations when we're talking to them. The real skill is taking complex mathematical information and communicating it in a simple way that they understand. That's what we're looking for when we hire people to work here. Yes, you need to understand maths, but you also need to be able to talk to people and communicate things in simple ways. We used to ask for a 2-1 degree in a numerate subject like maths or geography to work here, but we've taken that requirement away. We even have apprentices here now, so there are so many different ways you can get into the business. If somebody applies with a geography degree, then I always look to see if they took maths on to A-level, or whether they did a statistical subject in one of their modules at university. You need that grounding in maths and data to work here. When I was little, I was just obsessed with football and sport in general, really. If I'm honest, I didn't take school that seriously until I was about 15. My parents didn't put much pressure on me, but I realised if I wanted to have a good career, I needed to study hard. So I took my GCSEs more seriously, and luckily, I did all right. When I was at school, we chose four subjects for the year 12. So I studied maths, geography, English literature, and physics. I stopped physics at the end of year 12, carrying on the other three subjects into year 13. The statistics and level maths and geography are really relevant to what I do particularly the significance testing. English literature also helped me learn to communicate and write. I had no idea what I wanted to study at university, but I thought geography would give me lots of options. At university, one of the modules I took was around the census and why we need that data. That's where I first heard of CACI. That lecture really stuck out to me as interesting. When I started looking for jobs, I emailed CACI sending them my CV and a bit about myself. They interviewed me, but said unfortunately we don't have any jobs at the moment, but to stay in touch. Now, as a hiring manager, I know stay in touch means thanks, but no thanks. But back then, I took that literally. I called them every Monday for eight weeks, and on the eighth Monday, they said, fine, you can start next week. A client might come to us and say, we think people are coming less often, but spending more when they do. Can you prove that with data? As well as using big data sets, we often go and survey people in shopping centres. We take all the data, put it into spreadsheets and analyse things like how much money they spent, how long they spent there, and how often they go shopping. Then we test the hypothesis and report back to the client whether their gut feel was right. A lot of people think maths is a bit geeky, but it underpins most jobs out there. It's probably the most important thing you can learn. You don't need a plan for the next 10 years. Take one step at a time, enjoy it, be good at it, and prove yourself. <laughs>